Hello everyone, welcome to CSPN April, your source for UIW Cardinal Sports. I'm Vincenzo Villanueva. And I'm Tanya Hajali, and this is our first live sportscast. We want to give a warm Cardinal thank you to our director, Hank McDonnell, and our technician, Robert Estoriti, who made this all possible. Yes, well, Cardinal fans, we have some exciting stories for you today, such as our first story, the end of the basketball season and outcome of the LSC tournament. You heard it right. UIW basketball is over for this season, and what a season it was. Our next story will be over the San Antonio Rampage hockey team, fighting with all their might, but unfortunately falling short of the playoffs. Well, that would have been something. Sort of. Last but certainly not least, UIW football and spring practice is back as we prepare to go Division I. Exciting! Going to be a big change for our little campus. Can't I wait. Can't wait. <laughs> it sure is, Tanya. All right, Cardinal fans, without further ado, let's get right into it. The UIW Cardinals finished a strong season, going 14-14 for a solid 500 record. Diana Rucker and Lindo Brown are the captains of the team, but this is a team game, and everyone contributed. The Cardinals didn't have many expectations in the LST tournament since they had never won a game there before. It didn't look too good when they were down 11 points with 128 left to play. But Dino Rucker took over to take the game into overtime, and the Cardinals held on to win their first LSC tournament game. They seemed to lose a lot of gas after that win because they were on the wrong end of the blowout versus rival Midwestern State in the next round. It was a bittersweet losing, but they still made improvements. We have some of what Cardinals describing what they need to do to improve next season. We had a hard-fought win in the first game. That was it was real exciting. We came into the second game and just uh, uh, we ran into a tough team and uh, we got outplayed for a little bit in the first half. We came back, but it was just a little too late. We had to definitely step it up on defense in a tournament because you know tournament time is definitely it's crunch time. You know you got to make sure you're getting all the loose balls, all the hustle points. You got to make sure you're playing as hard as you can for your teammates and make sure your teammates got your back. And I think that's what helped us through our tournament. Definitely in the first game we were down. I think we were down about 20 and we came back and won the game. Just everybody got each other's back and we brothers and we're family. So we make sure we, we, we pick each other's slack up. Our defense was one of our strengths, but it was, uh, our rebounding was uh, really one of our weaknesses that we need to uh, focus on next year. Every game, uh, we, we uh, went over the scouting report and stuff like that, so our defense is, is going to be good, but we just got to get the rebounding to make sure that we can go score on the other end as well. I think we all need to improve uh, rebounding for sure. Uh, we'll probably be have a little bit more help next year. We got the uh, big Ian coming back. and. Uh, I mean, defense, just pick it up. We're pretty good offense. It was just some games we needed to uh, just lock down a couple possessions more. It felt so good to finally get a win in the tournament. We say goodbye to senior Dinell Rucker, captain of the team. Good luck to Dinell and the Cardinals in the future. Remember, Cardinals always come back stronger and better. Our next story, San Antonio Rampage failed to make the playoffs, but UIW TV is grateful to them for letting us attend the games. When we attended the game versus the Oklahoma Barons at the end of March, the Rampage were still in the thick of the playoff chase, while clinching the sixth seed was even still a possibility. But the Rampage ran into some bad luck and started to fall way behind the teams they were chasing. The Rampage are mathematically eliminated from the playoff contention. Like always though, the Rampage played with a lot of heart and effort, and they were in it until the end. We give a special thanks to Alex DeFilippo for letting us attend the games. Here is some game footage and Rampage coach Chuck Weber's thoughts on how the season unfolded. Rampage Hockey Game. We didn't shoot to 
get pucks back. We didn't shoot with a purpose. It was just throw it on net and let's see what happens. All in all, I thought it, we took shifts off and uh, it wasn't good enough. Our transition game wasn't good enough. We, we, had, we had chances there. We had one-timers. You know, I thought we had a couple opportunities. We've dug ourselves a huge hole and uh, we need to do a, a better job than we did tonight. All right, Cardinals, this is Tanya Hajali signing off. Bye, guys. As a reminder, the remaining Rampage games are $10 at the AT&T Center. Just $10? Just $10. Wow. We wish the Rampage luck next season. Go Rampage! Go Rampage! On to our last story. UIW football has started spring practices that will run through all of April in preparation of the spring football game that's coming up April 20th at 6 p.m. We hope to see you a lot there. Students, Students get in get free. In free. So come. Better. <laughs> the Cardinals are also preparing for their upcoming division on one schedule. The team won't have a full Division One schedule, but they will still be playing a lot of D1 teams. CSPN February showed you the celebration of turning into D1. But the time has come for the Cardinals to step it up. Next season will truly be an interesting thing to see. Hey there, Cardinals sports fans. As you can see behind me, our very own football team has begun practicing for their first year in Division I. Incarnate Word has grown to be the fourth largest private university in Texas. The NCAA Division I offers the opportunity to expand the UIW brand across the nation. With that being said, our Cardinal football team, along with coach Larry Kinnon, have begun practicing and working hard for their upcoming season as they face off for the first time D1 schools. Practices are held every Tuesday and Thursday from 3 to 5.30 p.m. They will also be having practices during the summer to prepare for their season. The Cardinals' first game will be August 29, 2013 at Central Arkansas at Conway Estate Stadium at 7 p.m. If you would like to purchase tickets for the upcoming season, go to www.cardinalsathletics.com. Well, there you have it, Cardinals. Our football team is working really hard to have an amazing D1 season. For more information, go to www.uiwtv.org. Reporting for CSPN, I'm Eva Alvarez. That wraps it up for our show. This was CSPN April. We want to thank you all for watching. I'm Tanya Hajali. And I'm Vincenzo Anueva. And we will see you next semester. And good, good luck, luck on, on finals. finals.